Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you step by step how I managed to create this image right here in Photoshop. And I'll be showing you all the steps on how I achieved this. So all these steps will be done in Photoshop and then we're going to move over to Divi. Now today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, I have an exciting announcement to make and this is my brand new course called Photoshop for Web Designers. Now this is a course which teaches you everything that you need to know to prepare your images and make them look great for your website. So it covers pretty much everything and I have a special offer. This is a one-time offer. So this course is going to cost $97, but as a one-off, I'll be charging $47. So you need to go right away and get this price while it's really low because in the future, this is going to go up to 97 and even higher as I add more tutorials onto the course. So as you can see, these are the topics that we're going to cover, how Photoshop works, the 10 keyboard shortcuts. Now, this will help you work faster in Photoshop. We also uh, go through where to find great images for your website, how to open images in Photoshop. Now, you know what? I'm not going to go through this whole list, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the show notes below so you can go and check out that course. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with a brand new canvas, and this is 2000 by 1080 pixels. So this is blank. So the only images that we're going to use are two images, and I got these two images from Pixabay. Okay, so these are the images. This is the first one of this model right here, and then the second one is this one of this BMW interior. Okay, so now let's merge these images together. So I'm going to start off with my first image here, make sure that it's positioned correctly like that, but you can always go in and make those adjustments. Now my second image right here, I'm just going to drag this over here to the right a little bit like that. Okay, so I think this is the right position. Now what we're going to do now is to use layer masks. So we, un we want to merge these images together. So to do that, I'm going to come to uh, this image right here on the top. Click this little icon here on the bottom for the layer mask. And then we're going to uh, use our brush tool to paint over what we need to mask. So my shortcut here is B. So now I can start painting. So as you can see, as I start painting, this image right here on the bottom is now showing through. And this is exactly what we need. Okay, so I'm just going to continue painting like that until I have a selection that I am happy with. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit more here, over here. Great. So I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to click my move tool. And then I'm just going to make some adjustments here. Slightly like that. Okay, great. Now, if we want our image to really look seamless, what we need to do is to make both images black and white. So let's go ahead and do that. So this one right here is already black and white. So we only need to apply the black and white onto the interior of the car. So I'm going to select this image, I mean this layer. So just to make sure you can see here that this is the layer, okay? So you want to come over here to the bottom, click on the adjustment layer, and then you want to come to black and white, like that. So you can see here automatically this has turned into black and white. Now you can always come here and play with these sliders if you want to, but and also there's some presets that you can actually use up here on the top. So if you want to go for the red filter, for example, you can go with that and this gives you like a different kind of look. Now I'm just going to leave it on the red filter. That's fine. Now the next thing we want to do now is to go in and add a color to this. Okay. So before I can go ahead and do that, I would like to merge these two layers together before I can move forward to the next step. So to do that, I'm going to use a shortcut, Shift, Alt, Command, E. Okay. So now I have a merge layer right here on the top. Okay, so I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate this so I have an extra copy just in case I make some mistakes. Great. Okay, so what we want to do is to come back over here to our adjustment layers again. And this time we are going to choose hue and saturation. Great. Now over here, you'll notice that when you start moving these sliders here, nothing will happen. So what you need to do is to make sure you click here where it says colorize like that. Now this adds a color tint to our black and white image and this is exactly what we need. Okay, so now we can play with the sliders and choose whatever uh, style that we're going for. So maybe this could be the one you're going for. We can also reduce the lightness like that, 
Okay, so this ideally is used in cases where you want to add um, text on top of this, which is lighter. Okay, so you need to have a darker image. In fact, we'll be doing two examples in this uh, in this tutorial, so I can show you how to use both. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit more blue into this, like that. So pretty much I'm happy with this. In fact, I'll add a bit more saturation. Great. Okay, so I'm happy with this now. So all I have to do is to save this. Okay, so to save this, I'm going to use my shortcut, Shift Alt Command S. So you can see here, these are my dimensions, 2000 by 1080. And make sure that you've chosen JPEG here on the top. And for the quality, you can actually reduce this to about 80 if you wanted to. Okay, just to make sure the file size is not massive. Great. Okay, so now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so we're going to call this BMW 1. Or in fact, we can call, it, we can call this BMW Dark. Save this onto my folder. Now let's uh, let's create another version of this. So this time we want to make this really light, okay, with this beautiful tint on it. Uh, in fact, we need our saturation. Now this is the beauty of um, the hue and saturation. You can always go in and play around with these settings until you're happy with what you what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit more here. Bring back the blue, make it even more lighter like that. In fact, that may be a bit too much. Okay, great. I think I am, um, I'm going to go with this. Okay, that's great. So now I'm going to save. Now this version 2 is what will be used if we want to have dark text on top of this um, hero image. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save it. Go ahead and save. And then I'm going to call this BMW Light. Like that. Save. Great. So now we're done. All our work in Photoshop is complete. It's time now to move on to Divi and create our landing page. Okay, so right now I have my page all set up. Uh, I've just called this home. Now I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder and then we're going to go straight into our Visual Builder. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to add our full width section. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Click on full width. Now we need a full width header for this. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to snap this to the left because I prefer working that way. Great. So what we can do now is to start by adding our title. But uh, to save me a lot of typing, I'm going to use a website called Lorem2 where I can just copy some dummy text and add it onto our website. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Come back over here and paste our text like that. We're also going to add some subheading text. I'm going to paste it again here. Okay, so here I'm going to add my text for my button. So I'm going to call this test drive. And then for this one here, I'm going to call this by now. Okay, so this is our, test, our text that we have so far. And then over here on the links, I'm just going to add some blank links. But in your case, you would need to, have to add proper uh, links to this. Okay, great. So now we have that. That's looking great. Now I'm going to come over here to design. Click on layout and just make sure that all this is centered. And then we want this to fill the whole screen. So we're going to make this full screen. I'm going to say yes to that. Now it's time to add our image. So I'm going to go back over here to the contents and click on background. And then I'm going to come over here on the third tab and click this plus button. Select files. Now I'm going to navigate to my folder on my computer, which has my image. So we have BM, uh, BMW light and dark. So let's start with the dark. Okay, I'm going to double click on that. In fact, we might as well add both images because we are going to be uh, doing two examples. Okay, so both of my images now are in my media library. Okay, so let me click on upload an image. So we can see here our image is now on our page. Now I'm going to go ahead and save because we need to get rid of this section right here on the top. So I'm going to delete the section. So now our image is fill filling the whole site, which is great. Now it's time to do a bit of work where we need to um, play around with our text, make sure that it's adjusted and it's looking right. Okay, so I'm going to come over here into my module settings, click on design. So we are going to start off with our title text. So our font, I'm going to choose Leto, all caps, and I'm just going to increase the size here a bit. Let's say 38. And then for the text color here, I'm going to change this and... Um, let's go with, okay, I think we'll go with this light blue. Okay, that looks great. Right, next, we are going to go on to our subhead text. 
Again, we're going to increase the size right here. And then over here, we need to increase the line height so that we have enough space uh, between, between our paragraphs. Okay, so 1.9 is great for that. I'm going to come over here and um, choose our subhead text. So this time, I'm going to choose a lighter blue. So I think that's fine. Great. Then I'm going to go ahead and come over here to button 2. Use custom styles for button because it's always great to go in here and make adjustments for your button because um, you want it to match the design of your website rather than just have these generic buttons. So I'm going to come over here and uh, for our button 2 text color, I'm going to make this white. In fact, I'm going to leave it as blue. And then I'm going to make changes to my button 1. So I'm just going to come over here, click on button 1, use custom styles for button 1. Okay, I'm going to leave the sizes as they are, and then I'm going to come over here to my button text color, make that white. Background color, I'm going to go with green. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the border width because we don't need really need that. And then for our text, I'm going to come over here and make sure it's all caps. And for the weight, we're going to make this semi-bold. We're going to add some letter spacing. I think one is fine. Okay, so that's looking great. So I think that's all we need to do. And then on the buy now, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add some letter spacing just to balance everything out. Okay, so I'm going to click on button two. Then I'm going to add one to our letter spacing. So we just want to distinguish these two buttons right here. So for our button text color, I'm going to just change that because uh, I don't like the color right now. So, okay, that's that's a bit too much. So let me try a shade of blue. Okay, so I think I'll go with that. And then uh, there's one thing that we forgot to do here on our font weight. We need to uh, make sure it's set to semi-bold so that these two buttons look alike. Now I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Great. So this is our final design. This is our landing page. So you can see how we started all our work in Photoshop and then we came into Divi and we just really d d uh, did some bit of uh, touch-ups to make this look like a real landing page. So this is how you'd combine Photoshop and Divi to come up with great designs. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this. I'm going to save this and then we're going to do version 2. So for our version 2, we just need to flip what we have here and just, uh, and just use uh, light instead of dark. Uh, in fact, let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to come over here to um, my module settings. And then I'm going to click on background. I'm going to delete this one here. Click the plus button. And this time we're going to add the lighter one. Upload an image. Okay, so now our image has been uploaded. Now it's time to m make our adjustments. So I'm going to come over here to my text. So this time we are going to change the colors to make them dark. So I'm going to come and go into design here. In fact, we are happy with the layout. Click on text. And then for our title text, we're going to change the color, make it dark. So I'm really going to use this color right here. And then I'm going to make sure I choose the hexadecimal value here because I'm going to use it uh, on the button as well. Okay, so I've got that now. Next, I'm going to come over here to my subhead text, paste my text in here, my color in here. So that's looking much better. And then we're going to go to button one. Now this time, uh, we're going to change the color of this to maybe this blue and that looks really nice I like that okay but in your case you need to play around with these colors and see which colors work better as you're designing your website but ideally you want to start off with a color palette because it makes it easier for you to choose your colors right here as you're designing your website okay so that's looking great now we need to go to button two so I'm gonna scroll down here okay so I'm gonna choose my color paste my color in here like that Great, so that's all we have to do. I'm going to save now. And then I'm going to save the page as well and exit my Visual Builder. Okay, so that's our landing page. As I mentioned, we started off from Photoshop and now we've just finished off in Divi. So this is how you design your images in Photoshop and then bring them into Divi in order for you to achieve beautiful looking websites. Now, 
as I mentioned earlier on, I have a course which has a fantastic discount right now as we speak. The course is, uh, normally costs $97, but for today, I'll be selling it for $47. So make sure you head over to dvuniversity.com. So more information on that course is in the show notes below. Uh, today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. And if you, it's the first time here on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification. By hitting the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I go live or every time I release a new video. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.